Our Prophet ﷺ had so much mercy on so many people. When they lied to him and he knew they were lying, he still had mercy on them. People came to him with excuses about things. He didn't say, that's not true. He just said, okay, may Allah make it. Him. So, huh? Think how much mercy he had. And think when people made contracts and broke the contract, he gave them another chance. Yeah. By the way, there won't be that today. If you make a contract in this world right here and you sign your name, I promise you the kofar will not have any mercy on you. <laughs> I promise you. They will take you to jail, take your car, take your house, and throw you far away. And if anybody, anybody even says one word against the United States, he can go to Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, <laughs> but people said many things against Islam and they lived under the protection of Islam. They said many things against, even they spoke against Quran and made jokes. They made jokes and it spoke against Rasulullah He forgave them, yes or no? Yes. Could Mr. Bush learn a lesson from this? Huh? You know Mr. Bush? <laughs> I'm from Texas. Ah. Ah. I'm just telling you, don't vote for him. Because he's not going to run anyway. I don't want to be president of the United States, <laughs> but I do want to get this message across. Our Prophet was so merciful that when a woman served poisoned food to him and killed his companion with the poison, <clears throat> You know the story? No. How many of you didn't know the story? You don't know? Before he died, a woman made a meal and served it to them. And this poison she put in there was so deadly, his companion dropped dead this quick. And just as he's putting it in his mouth, Malayaka came to him and told him to stop. It didn't kill him, but he had enough taste on it that before he died, he said, I can still taste that poison. They were ready to kill the woman right then, like this. But instead he asked, well, why you did this? She said, because you guys, you killed my father, my son, my, my brother, my husband. She's saying like this. And so I want to do that. He let her go. He let her go. Some people said that the Pope, Pope John Paul, remember Pope John Paul from the yeah. They said even though somebody shot him, he forgave him. He forgave him. But then they said maybe he learned something from Muhammad. Because <laughs> the real forgiveness, real forgiveness, it's not when you forgive somebody that about something you don't care. It's when you forgive somebody about something you do care. My thinking, and you tell me if I'm wrong, please. My thinking is, we should forgive these people when they say things from Jah. Forgive them, but then go to them and show them this is the real picture of the real Muhammad. You would like to see the real picture of Muhammad? My brother, my Muslim, take a look at him. My sister, the Muslim, take a look at her. This is the real message of Muhammad, which is to be what? Merciful, truthful, kind, gentle, helpful, generous. Are we supposed to be generous? Are we? Do we give even to the non-Muslim? No. If we really follow Muhammad, we really love him. If we do, we will follow.